Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract decimals and whole numbers. So either a decimal minus a whole number or a whole number minus a decimal. Now, whenever we have a subtraction problem involving a decimal and a whole number, we use the same steps we use when subtracting two decimals. Line up the decimals, use placeholder zeros if necessary, and subtract. Let's jump into number one where we have 13 minus 4 and 64 hundredths. Our first step is going to be to set this problem up by lining up the decimals. Now we have a whole number here, 13. Remember, the decimal point goes to the right of the ones place, to the right of the whole number. So we can put a decimal point right here for 13 that we can use to line this problem up. Typically, if we just have a whole number, we write it without a decimal point. But here, we are using the decimal point to line up the problem. So we are including it. Now we can set this up. So we have 13 decimal point minus 4 and 64 hundredths. Now at this point, do not just bring the 6 and the 4 straight down into the answer. There are actually zeros above those digits. So we will need to go through the subtraction process. So our problem is lined up, the decimals are lined up, but it does look a little offset here. So we can use placeholder zeros to make this look a little more lined up and organized. And we actually need these zeros in order to go through the subtraction process. So since 4 and 64 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, we need two zeros right here. That way 13 goes to the hundredths place as well. Now those zeros to the right of the decimal point are not changing the value of that 13. That's still 13. So we're able to do this. We're not changing the value of anything here. Now we're ready to subtract. So let's start with the hundredths place. We have zero minus four, which we're going to need to borrow. So we need to go all the way over to the three, borrow. This is now two. Then we have 10 here, which is now nine. And then we end up with 10 minus four, which gives us six. Then we have nine minus six. That gives us three. Then we have our decimal. Bring the decimal straight down into the answer. The decimal is lined up throughout the entire problem. Then we have two minus four, which we need to borrow. So we borrow from this one, which is now zero. And now we have 12 minus four, which gives us eight. And this is our final answer, eight and 36 hundredths. So 13 minus four and 64 hundredths equals eight and 36 hundredths. Let's move on to number two, where we have 28 and eight tenths minus nine. So let's set this problem up by lining up the decimals. Now for our whole number, nine, the decimal goes right here. So we have 28 and 8 tenths minus nine, and then the decimal point. Now we need a placeholder zero. But before we write that in, notice the difference between number one and number two. For number one, we subtracted from the placeholder zeros, so we needed to borrow. For number two, we're going to end up with eight minus zero in the tenths place, which gives us eight. So we will end up with eight in the tenths place of our answer. So depending on if we have a whole number minus a decimal or a decimal minus a whole number, that impacts how these problems are going to work out. So something to keep in mind. Since 28 and 8 tenths goes to the tenths place, let's use a placeholder zero right here. That way, nine goes to the tenths place as well. 
and now we can subtract. So we start with eight minus zero in the tenths place. That gives us eight. Then we can bring the decimal straight down. Next, we have eight minus nine, which we need to borrow here. So this two is now a one, and we have 18 minus nine. That gives us nine, and then we have a one. So our final answer, 19 and eight tenths. So 28 and eight tenths minus nine gives us 19 and eight tenths. So those are our two example problems. Let's move on to two practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was two minutes. Let's go over the answers. For number one, we have 16 minus nine and 77 hundredths. That equals six and 23 hundredths. For number two, 52 and nine tenths minus 15 equals 37 and nine tenths. So there you have it. There's how to subtract decimals and whole numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.